Are, are you, you happy? happy? It depends because sometimes I'm happy. Maybe sometimes I'm not. Many people consider happiness something you can capture and put inside a jar and then experience for the rest of your life. Yeah. But in reality, happiness is something that ebbs and flows. It comes and goes. Ooh. It goes on a roller coaster. It's not constant. You know, I don't know anyone who's constantly happy. And if they're pretending to be happy, then it's they're putting up a front. Ooh, you know, so I think, I'm happy when yeah. I work on stuff like this. I'm happy when I get a new Hot Toys figure. I'm happy when I'm making a movie, but when I'm not doing that, when I'm just sitting here, or maybe when I'm doing work, I'm stressed out, I'm not happy. Happiness is the emotional state of being content with yourself to a certain degree, abused by something external or even internal. So it's almost like a decision uh, to be joyful through good times and bad times. Emotions are something that we experience. We're definitely going to experience sadness. We're definitely going to experience uh, hurt and, and different things like that. So happiness can't compete at the same time while we're experiencing other emotions. But I think it, it's also how you perceive those things are very important. Half full or half empty. Our perspective and how we view things in the moment can really shape how we see something to learn to appreciate what you have in the moment and be grateful then in that state that's when you can really find happiness because i think in our modern society we're talking about happiness as something that you get to like until i have my car i'll be happy until i have this amount of money i'll be happy until 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 until, until. Right. right. We yeah. can be happy now, right? We can choose to be happy or joyful or grateful. Appreciation is the key. Mm -hmm. um, because when you don't appreciate something, you're not going to enjoy it, and that's not going to bring you happiness, right? So if we, if we tie those three things together, I'll, be, I'll finally be happy when I have my first girlfriend. I'll finally be happy when I get married. I'll finally be happy when I have kids. I'll finally be happy when I have all my bills paid off, when I have my house, when I'm rich, when I have this toy, this collectible, this car, whatever, put X in the formula, you know? Uh, what you're pointing out is that, let's say, you know, like someone gets married and then they're happy for the day of the marriage or maybe even a week after the marriage, but then it simmers down, just like all relationships, you go through the Romeo and Juliet phase and then it simmers down into a companionate relationship. I think people don't realize how natural, it's natural not to be happy all the time. You get something, and you think that, that that very thing you always thought, thought was going to bring you happiness when you become disappointed because you all put all your expectations that it would bring you happiness. And then all of a sudden you realize, wait, the happiness isn't lasting as long as I thought it would. I thought this was going to be the last thing I needed to make me happy. So you're constantly chasing happiness and you'll never catch up with happiness because it's not something, like I said earlier, that you can, it's not a physical object you can take and put in a jar. It's not even a state of mind you can keep at all times it's impossible society's expectations put pressure on people to feel like they need to be happy all the time when the reality is we can't yeah, philosophy, that's, that's why philosophers, philosophers have debated it for centuries like what is happiness plato talked about it aristotle i believe they yeah. couldn't really figure out what it was because well yeah. i i i mean i guess i would say happiness is being grateful everything that happens to you but if i was given yeah. 20 hot toys that I always wanted tomorrow all at once. I don't think I would appreciate it as much as I have collecting them over the past two years slowly, but surely and struggling to get each one that I want because they're not cheap. And each time I get a new one, I have to save up money. I have to delay that gratification. And that actually brings me more happiness. And that's another thing. Maybe delayed gratification plays into happiness as well. Instant gratification, you can get it and it can make you happy for a short period of time, but that doesn't always last. They don't appreciate the $1,000 as much as they would have if they were to work 40 hours to get that same amount of money. So they're just going to spend it because there's no appreciation and just use it for kind of blow it in one weekend. Kind of thing. What do you yeah. think about that? You know, I think some people value more what costed them to get yes right? the work they put into it you know i don't know a lot of people know about gary b he's an entrepreneur main mission is to buy the jets he sometimes leaves money in the table 
to continue playing in the game, right? To continue that adventure of trying to get to that goal. Because he said that whenever he does buy the Jets, it's going to be both his happiest and his saddest day. Because he already met his biggest goal. He, he got to where he wanted to be. Because we're back to chasing it. Yeah. Back, back to chasing, chasing back, back to, to the next one. one. So now, now that, that I got the Jets, Jets let's win a yeah. Super Bowl. Once, Once you won the Super Bowl, Bowl well, let's, let's win another one. one. It's like, like, what like what we were talking about before. Like, like you reach a certain point, point, you've reached that point that you wanted. Now it's like now what? Once, Once you, you have, have everything, everything, all the money in the world, world and you spend your money on everything you could possibly ever want or buy, and you have access to whatever you could have ever wanted to do in the world. Well, then you run out of things to do, you run out of things to buy, and then you're like, well, now what? What do I do now? You know, there's there's no more meaning. Maybe it comes down to meaning. Chasing happiness will not make you happy. Believing, having the expectation that you can catch happiness when you reach a goal is a myth. But appreciation and taking responsibility, like you mentioned earlier, might. And then you also mentioned uh, the perspective, the glass half full or empty, also affects whether you're happy or not. A fourth thing you mentioned was, what are we doing? What we're doing in life? Are we enjoying the what game. we do in life? Exactly. Well, the journey actually could be a sixth thing, but the fifth, I mean, the, that could be a fifth thing, the journey that you take to reach. The journey on the way to something can be happy. It yeah. can bring happiness. But the fourth thing was like doing what makes you happy. So being an artist, like you said. Yeah. But happiness itself, we experience it subjectively. We call happiness an emotional boot. What does that mean? Yeah, well, I guess...